Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. The reading this evening is taken from Proverbs in the fourth chapter, beginning at the 20th verse. My child, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Keep straight the path of your feet and all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is the commemoration of a martyr, but not a martyr of ancient times. This is a man who did not find his death at the hands of the Romans or of various sects of ancient Christianity, nor was this a martyr who found his death far across the sea. Instead, this is a martyr of our time. This is a martyr of our place. And the killer and the victim both profess themselves to be both Americans and Christians. This is the commemoration of Jonathan Mark Daniels, who was martyred on August 20th, 1965 in Hainville, Alabama. Jonathan was an Episcopal seminarian and joined the civil rights movement in Alabama and was killed by a shotgun-wielding special county deputy named Tom Coleman. While he was shielding from Coleman, a 17-year-old named Ruby Sales. He saved the life of Ruby Sales and was uh, declared to be a martyr by the General Convention of the Episcopal Church in 1991. This is a fight that is still going on. Christians are killing Christians over the issues that were on that street under that shotgun in Hainville, Alabama in 1965. We are not so far from there, but we have come some distance. That distance was purchased by a lot of work, a lot of political compromise, a lot of generous donation, and more than just a little blood. You may not be called to give your blood, but you are absolutely called absolutely called to continue that work, to move that project forward, and to remember, honor, and emulate the martyrs of the church, all the way from St. Stephen being stoned in the Holy Land up to Jonathan Daniels, Episcopal seminarian and martyr in Alabama. Let us pray. O God of justice and compassion, you put down the proud and mighty from their place and lift up the poor and the afflicted. We give you thanks for your faithful witness, Jonathan Mark Daniels, who in the midst of injustice and violence risked and gave his life for another. And we pray that we, following his example, may make no peace with oppression Through Jesus Christ, the just one, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant you a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.